Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is on electrical machines and the first topic is magnetic circuits. This is 1.2 article from Chapman's book and 1.1 of Mr. Fitzgerald's book. Now before we study the actual uh, lecture, let's have an understanding about the magnetic flux density called B and the magnetic field intensity called H. So if you recall, uh, we know that from uh, magnetic pole, north pole to south pole, uh, the flux lines flow and if we same here the flux lines are flowing from north pole to south pole and if you take an area of one square meter and count the number of flux lines in that so that will be called the flux density so flux density is number of flux lines per unit area and it is uh, one of the definitions is that the flux line b is flux F phi divided by the area of cross section or unit area you can see. Then uh, we will talk about the magnetic force as we know that magnet exerts force or it attracts items. So if the magnet itself has a force F then as we move away from this magnet the this force or the intensity of the force decreases so we define uh, the term intensity, magnetic field intensity H as the magnetic force divided by the distance. So as we move away from the distance, this H or the magnetic field intensity will reduce and as we come nearer, it will increase. So uh, we can just name that the flux density here is H1 and here it is H2 obviously h1 is more powerful than h2 so this is the definition is h is equal to the magnetomotive force mmf divided by the distance and the same concept goes to electromagnet a magnet created uh, from electricity the only difference here is that the force now, or the magnetomotive force now, is N, which is number of turns of this uh, coil, multiplied by a I, the current flowing through this. So, force is now N times I. And obviously, uh, the flux density as well as the field intensity, they are related to the magnet and they, they have an interlink relation that is the magnetic field density B is equal to mu times H. Now mu is the uh, permeability of the medium or the material and H as you know is the field intensity. Okay, if we understand the correlation between electric circuits and magnetic circuits, it will be easier for us to follow. So we know uh, that current I in electricity and we can correlate magnetic flux with it. So flux is correlated with the current I. Similarly, the magnetomotive force F is correlated with the voltage V. The reluctance R, which is length divided by mu divided by area this is correlated with the resistance in the electrical circuits and then the perm uh, uh, permeance which is opposite of reluctance is related with conductance which is opposite of resistance then the term permeability is represented by mu is correlated with conductivity of the material and finally, uh, similar to Ohm's law, the phi, or the flux, uh, is equal to the force divided by resistance as we have current is equal to voltage divided by resistance. 
Okay, now the magnetic circuit consists of a structured, composed, high permeability magnetic material. So any magnetic material uh, which can facilitate easy flow of magnetic flux uh, can form a circuit, magnetic circuit. And the advantage of the high permeability magnetic material is that it tends to cause the magnetic flux to be confined to the path defined. So, uh, if it is a high permeable material, the flux lines do not go out of this, rather they remain within the uh, magnetic circuit or within the uh, core material. And there could be various shapes of the uh, core material, we will see all of these. Okay, now this far we were, uh, we have learned that the field uh, intensity H is magnetomotive force divided by LC. Now what is LC? Let's see that. LC is actually the average length of lines. So if this is the core, the flux or lines will flow uh, through this all the way. Some will be above the middle line and some will be below the middle line. But we uh, take the average and so this line uh, is we take as the mean path of the flux lines and its length is represented by LC and the, the force we know is n time n, n, uh, into i so it could also be written as HC, H is equal to n over i. Now, we, uh, if we represent H by HC, which is the average magnitude of uh, H, then this will become HC. And from this equation, then we can write that the magnetomotive force is equal to Ni equal to HCLC. This one goes there, and this H becomes HC, and HC multiplied by LC. Okay, now let's have some idea about the units. The unit of the magnetic field intensity is amperes per meter. This is an SI unit. And the flux density is Weber's per square meter, or also known as Tesla. And the permeability mu is Weber's per ampere turn meter, or equivalently Henry's per meter. The permeability of free space or air, we can say, is uh, written as mu naught and its value is 4 pi into 10 raised to the power minus 7 henrys per meter. So this is the uh, permeability of a free space or we can say it is vacuum uh, or we can say it is air. The permeability of linear magnetic material can be expressed in terms of mu r and its value relative to the free space is given by this. So mu is actually mu r which is the permeability of the material and mu naught which is the permeability of the free space. So multiplied by 2 we get mu. Okay. Now this we can assume to be a magnetic circuit because all the flux lines are flowing uh, inside just like this electrical circuit and all the currents are flowing through this line. So we can say that magnetic circuit characterizes the behavior of the magnetic fields within a given device or a set of device. Now how do we relate these? Uh, uh, resistances or re, uh, reactances or reluctances. So the reluctance R, as we have already learned, is L divided by mu over A. And if you replace mu by the uh, permeability of the material and free space, then we can write L is equal to mu R, mu naught, and A, which is the area of cross section. Now, for a particular circuit, uh, generally the L line is uh, uh, fixed or uh, does not vary. Uh, but depending on the design, the area of cross-section can vary. 
and also the material uh, of which a part of it is constructed or all of it is constructed may vary. So these are the two factors that we got to uh, consider when we are drawing the equivalent circuit because these two factors, the area of cross section and mu r, uh, will determine the value of the reluctance r. And why we study the magnetic circuit? Because it can be used to analyze circuit uh, or uh, we can use the circuit analysis techniques to analyze the magnetic circuits. Okay, so one of the parameters we mentioned that we have to take into consideration is the area of cross section. Now in this circuit you can see this thickness or the width is 15 centimeter whereas here it is 10 centimeter. Depth of both is same 10. So the area of cross section this here is different from this one and the area of cross section here and here and here they are same but different on the right hand arm and therefore we because these are two different area of cross sections therefore we should have two R's or two reluctances because of these two different area of cross sections. Okay now if we have two uh, uh, materials so like here you see this is one material this whole thing and this gap is the air material or made of air so we can say that these are two different materials or these are materials having two different mu r's so since mu r uh, has two different values therefore in this case also we'll have two r's so r1 and r2 one for the metal other for the air gap similarly in this case you can see this uh, portion is made of one uh, one metal and this is made of another metal so here also we'll have two r's because the mu of this portion is diff uh, mu r from this portion is different from mu r of this black portion and therefore uh, we'll have uh, two uh, reluctances. So depending on the shape and design uh, we have to first of all find out how many R's how many R's okay now uh, we already discussed but I kind of repeat that electromotive force in the uh, electric circuit drives current so this force drives the current through the circuit Similarly, in magnetic circuit, the magnetomotive force drives flux phi C through the circuit. And as we know that current in this circuit is I is equal to E over R. Similarly, here the flux is equal to magnetomotive force F over R, the reluctance of the circuit. Also, we know that the magnetomotive force is N into I if it is an electrical uh, magnet. And in all cases, we have learned that the reluctance is LC divided by mu R, mu naught, and AC. Okay. 